I spend some time just about every day in my shop, at least a couple hours a day in my shop. I used to spend six, six or seven hours, as you can see, but uh, I only, only spend a couple hours at a time. And it, it does get me away from everything, just clears, clears my mind. I'm George North and I'm 94 years old. I think I've belonged to Oak Grove 25 to 30 years. I like being there with the people and seeing, seeing my friends that, that are made there. In Tarja is making pictures with, with different colors of wood. There's no uh, paint or stain on any of it. The pieces are cut. They're three, three dimensional. And uh, after you shape them, you glue them together. And of course, the more depth you have in it, the better, the better it looks. And the, and the more contrast in colors you have, the better it looks. So I use a big variety of, of wood. I started when I retired, after I retired. My, my son was in the storm wind and, and storm door business, and he had a, a display at, uh, at one of the malls. And I, I went and worked the display for him, and a guy about 50 feet from me was selling scroll saws. And every time I got a chance, I'd go down and watch him cutting some wood. And, uh, bought a couple of books and taught myself how to do intarsia. And since learning how to do intarsia, I've, I've done a lot of work. I've, I've taught, I don't know, at least a dozen, maybe more people how to do intarsia. It's, it's a real joy to me to, to, to see how much other people enjoy doing it. It gives them something to do, and, and we all need something to do. Well, the, the Last Supper has approximately 600 pieces in it, and uh, I didn't make it all at one time. So I would make one character, or maybe two characters at a time, set them aside and do some other work, and then come back to that and make two more, and that's how, that's how I ended up doing it. I kept my time on that one, in, and the first one I made uh, took 155 hours to make it. The two that I've made since then are larger, which is, makes them a little easier to make, and uh, they, they didn't take quite that long. I just thought it was an ideal match to give it to the church, to, to make one for the church. The first one I made, I, my, my daughter-in-law has it. The second one I made, I think I gave it to the church, and the third one's in there on my dining room wall. In fact, there's, there's intarsia all over my house, <laughs> everywhere you look. Everything has a connection to God. I mean, no matter what, no matter what I do, when I don't, I don't have anything particular I'm working on, I'll work on something for the church, and it fills in a lot of time for me. Of course, I've had plenty of time to work on it this time. I've had three years to <laughs> to prepare for them. So, well, this this is this is walnut. The frame is walnut, and the cross is walnut, and the the flame is uh, aromatic cedar, actually. I don't have a lot of wisdom, but I, I, I suggest that no matter what you're doing or what, what, you, what, what you have to do, find something you enjoy doing and then throw everything you've got into it. This hobby has kept me alive the last five years. Even working by myself, I, I, I enjoy accomplishing something. When I lay down at night, I think about, now what did I accomplish today? I, I like to be able to check something off and, as being accomplished. Not just not just making another day because I don't know how many days I got and I want to enjoy them all.